Hey folks, welcome to Inside Talk with Fezan. Today I'm gonna here. Today I'm here to help you with interview questions for you know testing, both for like a pretty much uh, manual testing and automation testing both. Uh, and I have con- you know like come up with these questions based on my experience uh, of attending interviews and taking out interviews. I have been on both side of the tables uh, for uh, QA interviews. Are uh, very much you know from my career like for the, pa- for the past three to five years. So I I, I think uh, you know I have curated the list in a very short format so that we can talk about this in a very quick way and then you can go ahead and prepare yourself. Right? Great. Okay. So before we start, you know I would really re- you know appreciate if you go if you can like this video if you like it and then uh, subscribe to the channel you know for uh, more. coming updates okay let me get started with this so uh, initially once we start uh, right okay so once we get started with the interview it's usually it starts with you know can can you introduce with yourself so basically you need to start talking about your current role so generally for experience candidate what i suggest is you know you talk about your recent role and then gradually you know come back to your initial level so first you talk about the last company you're currently working on and then previous company something like that so once you get and, and for freshers it's mostly about like what you did in your final year and then uh, what you did in your project and those stuff so once you talk about when, while you are talking about the role i want you to know like to emphasize the uh, interviewer and make him aware of what is your expertise in the language if if you are interviewing for the automation tester and similarly if you are a manual tester or something like that like what what is your expertise like what are you good at like exp, uh, you know like emphasize more on those particular aspects so that that's the way we t- kind of take the interview ahead so generally if you give things which you are not aware you know like if they start asking questions on you you kind of like go blank right so talk about things which you know more about it similarly for the languages the tools which you are going to work everything uh, just talk more about uh, what they exactly need in the jd so obviously there should be something in the jd which might which is something which you might be aware so talk about those things first and then uh, see how it goes from there okay so once you talk about this uh, current role languages and then and then the the follow up question should be you know like talk about the framework architecture so what kind of framework exactly is what kind of setup do you have in your team right so whether it's bdd tdd like what is what is the framework you need to be very aware about like what you are presenting you need to be make sureing like you present the exact skeleton whether it's on paper or, or even if you're on a zoom call just share your screen and tell talk about uh, you know just open a notepad and talk about like what are the features you have in the framework what are the kind of files you have what are the kind of utilities you have everything you know in detail so that i mean have a command over uh, you know the framework architecture that's that's the very core and basic of uh, what your job is right in, in terms of testing right and then start giving them examples of the code like whether you are working with code chip or whether whether working with java and selenium like whatever it is start giving an example we have written in this format and this one even before they ask right so that they are, they have an impression of you that you know how to build a framework you know how to write a code and those things and then talk about uh, uh, you know like e- even if it don't like it, it will obviously come to a point like where they will ask about how do you kind of report and those things so it's better you know like if you talk about your own reporting skills and what are the best practices you kind of uh, follow uh, while building a framework or while working in a framework while writing in a test while writing a test script etc so these are uh, certain uh, you know like consider it not just as a question but also as a tip so like e- e- even though if they don't ask to make an impression make sure uh, you kind of talk about this stuff okay uh, yeah so this, this mostly comes into uh, mid level qas both in manual and automated or manual and automation testing like how how your organization or your team handles a bug right so once you find a bug what you do like uh, what a developer does like how you guys, how you guys are reporting it whether it's jira or a simple email or like there are there are certain other tools as well bugzilla etc etc right so how, how it kind of evolves in your organization like once you assign a bug to someone what's the next step happening who designs who defines the priority severity who handles the next step like when it comes back to you who de- who decides whether it's a regression bug or a new bug or whether it will be you know like fixed in the later part etc etc there are multiple things bug like several are different thing probably i will make a separate video on that but what i'm trying to say is you need to be aware of like how what exactly you follow once you find a bug right so that's something very important regardless of you being a manual or automation tester like anything as a tester you should know what happens to a bug that's something very important okay so then uh, based on your level of expertise you know the, the next thing would be they would start asking you 
tricky question. Say, for example, uh, I've given this example here, right? So uh, if you are working with Java and Selenium, right, they might ask you, like, what is a web element and a web element? The, the, the simple difference is yes, but it behaves very differently, right? So what is the application of that? Like why we have these things? Similarly, uh, there, there are certain things like in uh, other JavaScript based frameworks where a simple is would mean a different thing. So those kind of questions, they might ask you based on your expertise. So make sure you are aware of what the basics. Say, for example, uh, uh, there are multiple types of weights which you use in the framework. So they might ask you is different, like why, why are different weights used? Like give an example uh, for each weight. And uh, yeah, the next question is similar to that, like uh, basic questions on your daily uh, job. So like uh, as a tester, you know, like what are things, basic things, I mean, basic things you do. So how do you handle edge cases? When I say edge cases, it could be anything based on the product, right? So it depends on currently what organization, what product you're working. Similarly, uh, if if they ask about cross cross browser handling, say for example, you're testing an application in Chrome, and you need to test on Firefox and Edge. Like if you're an automation tester, how are you setting it up? Or if you're a manual tester, like how are you spending time? Like are you spending equal amount of time in each browser, or it's some like priority will be given to a specific browser and then the rest will be you know like just a sanitary thing how do you guys do and like why you guys do that way right so those kind of questions and similarly for automation uh what whether if you are doing a cross browser handling whether it's a parallel testing or whether it's a sequential testing it depends like again like what you do and what your product does so you need to be prepared for these kind of questions and answers okay and then once this kind of like basic questions and these stuff are done right probably they mostly move into uh, behavioral scenarios like uh, say e even if it's a slightly a higher level role say for example a lead level they ask kind of i mean mostly into behavioral things as well but this the, the behavior which i have written over here is something like which they might ask for any level of experience even if you're a two years or three years experience of register they might ask you things so uh, they will talk about like what is the recent bug you which were which is in which was interesting to the organization or you know you kind of missed out and what was your action like how, how you sorted this out say for example you missed a bug and the customer came back with a bug and then you know the, your, your manager asked you like hey what happened how are you going to respond it right what are all the actions you're going to take whether you're going to go back and recheck your test cases or something uh, you know like a, basically we see it as a uh, RCA kind of thing where you, you take a corrective action to measure it, like why exactly it happened and those things. And other questions like, you know, handling releases in absence of critical team members. Say you are working as a lead and you have decided a deadline uh, for a proce process, but unfortunately there are a couple of sick leaves or planned leaves, like whatever it is, how, how you are gonna handle the releases, like whether you are gonna ask for more resource, are you gonna prioritize your test cases, are you gonna deprioritize your, you know, like low level test cases, like how you are gonna do this. So these kind of these are the kind of behavioral scenarios questions they might ask you. Apart from that, guys, I, I kind of missed out in this, uh, you know, like. Uh, presentation but i would like to add a couple of more things you know you can consider this as a bonus step so there there are certain things uh, like uh, writing test cases which is like a basic expectation from a tester right kind of you know like uh, say writing test cases you know it can be written by multiple ways but there are you know like better ways to do it so uh and for to, to identify test cases there are multiple scenarios say for example uh, if i ask you like uh, how do you write a test cases for login page you might like nobody's gonna say no like i don't know the answer for this everybody's gonna say it depends like how you're gonna say that so probably uh, i'll add a, a video by end of this video you know like uh, as a clip so you can watch that video it will give you a detailed explanation of like how and I, how to write a test case and then how to find test cases there could be you know just for a login page i've written some around 20 to 30 test cases so you might i mean i, I think you would really appreciate like you know like once you watch that video uh so yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I think I've pretty much covered the overall, you know, like a very high level interview questions for software testing. I hope this was helpful to you. And, uh, you know, like uh, I really wish you get the job you want, you have always wanted. All the best, guys. And do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. I mean, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much once again. Bye-bye. Take care.